Hey everyone, my name is Beacon. This is the Beacon Breakdown and today's video is all about knobs. This is going to be a lot of information, so this video is pretty long. If you want to skip ahead, look in the video description below. I've left timestamps. If you're watching on my YouTube channel, you can click on those timestamps and it'll take you right to that section. So I decided I wanted to collect all the knobs that I know most people are using and some odd ones that people aren't and compile all the data on them, everything from like what they're made out of, the weight, the dimensions, how they feel, things like that, and put it all into one spot so people can come and compare. When I was looking for this information, when I was first uh, getting into POI, a lot of this stuff wasn't out there. So um, I didn't cover all of them, but uh, I got the main ones I think most people are using. If there's any information in here that I'm missing on this, leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll update the video description, which will have all the data on this. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first ones we're gonna talk about are from Home of Poi and Play Juggling. They're both silicone spheres that are perfectly round, have a great grip to them, and they're nice and heavy like I like them. Um, this is what I've been using for many, many years, and I don't think I'll ever go to anything else. These are pretty much perfect. Now, um, Play made two versions. They made this version, which is version one, and then they made the version two, which is the same as the uh, Home of Poi. They're the same weight and size and everything. Um, the difference is that the Home of Poi have a vertical seam, which you can feel. And then it says Home of Poi that's in raised lettering and a logo there that you can also feel. I don't know why they do that. What I usually do is take a uh, X-Acto knife and go underneath the lettering and, you know, take that up. And same with that as well. Now, the difference on the design between one and two are the hole sizes and how deep they go. So on the one in the Homo Poi, it goes about halfway, and this one's narrower and goes down to about there. That's because they were putting lights in the ends of these, and so they needed extra room in there to tie a knot. Now, these will come with a uh, grommet that goes on the end there that uh, keeps it from popping out, and it's about uh, probably a 5 16 inch rope. Now on the originals, I've got up to three eighths inch rope in, no problem. I mean, it's a little tight getting it on there, but they stretch. These I've actually got up to seven sixteenths and the hole is about seven sixteenths. So um, I usually put a puck on the end by, you know, using a hot glue or a, a epoxy or something. When you do that, you really have to get some glue in down behind there or whatever. So it kind of forms to the bottom. Otherwise, you risk the chance of it pulling out. So um, the next thing on these is the colors. Uh, I find that the play juggling have a lot more vibrant colors, um, like that pink right there, which doesn't really show up. It looks really pale on, on my camera for some reason. But um, I find that some of the Homo Poi knobs are actually um, duller in color, with the exception being like the purple. It's always turned out really well, and I don't think Play makes any purple, unfortunately. If you can find the original Play knobs, I'm looking for some, so uh, I'd like to find some of the original greens. Uh, they are just awesome, so scoop them up if you can find them. And uh, yeah, let's go on to the next thing. All right, so the next one is the Home of Poi WT4. It's a silicone knob that's practically the same as far as the sphere goes as their uh, original. And it is different in the fact that it's got this cap on the end and it's got this like spout that you can put your rope in or your swivel, um, which is awesome because if you get like cracks on your hands from holding on the rope like I do, something like this is great because you can pinch on to the, the side like that not to worry about it. Also, a lot of people when they have their swivels and their, their handles, like if you're getting ready to do an orbital and you're holding it like this, you have to move your, your fingers back so the ring doesn't, you know, get into your hand. With this, you don't have to do that. You don't have to switch grips at all. So that's pretty neat. Now, as far as what's on the inside, this is what you get, which is pretty neat. This has got a uh, pretty big room for tying a knot uh, and even adding a couple washers or putting this hook in. Um, for your your swivel now you don't have to have the cap on there it's going to be a lot squishier uh, which is going to be neat if you like the squishy or you can put a lot more weight if you wanted to put washers in there you could stack more washers in this than any other knob that i know of now i've only spun these a couple times on my friend's set and i really like the way that they felt um but i don't really know as far as like how big a rope that it'll uh, hold i'm assuming at least a three eighths because that's probably what that is there and these things are just known to stretch pretty good from Lanternsmith, we have the Palm Grip version one and version two. 
These are what I use for many years. They are a great knob if you'd like something that's squishy and it just feels really good in your hand. These have grooves in them to give them an extra grip and I really liked them, but I know a lot of people were complaining that when their hands got sweaty that these would get slippery. So they came out with the version two in a toothbrush rubber which definitely gave it a lot more grip. And then they added these little indentations on the side with this nice texture in them. And that made it the grippiest knob that I've ever, you know, tried. It's uh, next to the Ovo anyways. The Ovo is just a little bit bigger, so it's easier to grip onto. I got these to fit a LED chip that I would put in the back and a 3 8 inch rope and never had issues at all with them. But with these, unfortunately, I did. I uh, the, I used the same size rope, and then I used that same chip in the back, and I had this split twice on me. So um, that might be an issue for you, especially if you're using a bigger rope. I've heard uh, people having that issue. I'm not too sure what size rope is the max um, that you can put on this. They were made for their Lantern Smith uh, spin optics, uh, fiber optic poi. And I think that has like a probably a 5 16 inch tether or something like that. Now you could probably ream this out a little bit if you wanted to, which I'll talk about in the OVO review that's up next. And um, yeah, the colors on these are, they're pretty awesome. There's uh, some that are a two-tone color that like Flow on Fire was selling. They actually still might have some, but like it'd be a clear and then whatever the, the main color was that would have like swirl marks and stuff in it. So if you want a unique knob, uh, that would be a good place to try. Uh, they don't make these anymore though. So you might have a hard time finding them. I'd scoop them up while you, while you can. Now, as far as size comparison goes, I have the, um, the PX3 from Play, uh, the uh, Play or Home of Point juggling knob, and then the Mr. Babosh flip knobs. These are the exact same size. Um, there's the flip. Now, I have heard some people saying that their version 2 is way different than what I'm getting. I'm, I'm getting 12 grams on my scale. Some people say they get 16, and this one is uh, supposed to be 16 as well, which is what my scale shows. So the next ones are the Ovos from Lantern Smith. These are also the toothbrush rubber. So they got a really, really good grip. Probably the best gripping handle I've ever felt. Um, you can see that texture right there and the indentations. They feel great. Um, they have a downside though. It's the rope is not supposed to be in here at this size. This is a 3 8 The hole's probably for a quarter inch or something like that. When I uh, put it on the rope, which was kind of a challenge to get it on there in its own, uh, but I got it slid over the, the end of the rope and then I started sliding it down and particles of rubber were just pouring out the back, which was, you know, it was reaming out the inside of the hole. So I slid it up and down the rope a couple times to, to get it a little bit bigger and it worked out great. So that's an issue you might run across though. If you do use this uh, and you're using bigger rope, I recommend getting a like an electrical tape that you know doesn't leave a residue and then wrap it all the way up to the point where you're sliding the handle and slide it over that, take the tape off. Um, another thing is when I'm doing my silicone knobs, I'll inject like a hot glue inside there uh, and it will create the puck on the end of the rope. It doesn't stick to this. Nothing seems to stick to silicone. And I forgot that this wasn't silicone when I was making these the other day. And uh, the hot glue sticks to this super, super good. So I'm going to have to do some cleanup work here. I don't think I could probably get that puck out if I tried. So um, keep that in mind if you're going to go that route. Now, as far as size differences, uh, this is the uh, version 2 of the palm grip. It's quite a bit different. Um, so since it's bigger, doing the two-poi one hand, it's you know kind of getting at that limit for some people, I think. But it's definitely still doable. And I think this is a good choice if you like to, uh, to do gunslingers especially. All right, the next ones are from moodhoops.com, the same people that make future poi. They are called mood grips. They're a silicone knob with extra little knobs on the side right here. I think this is originally designed for a levy wand, but I decided to get them from my future poi thinking this would uh, be pretty grippy, but I was kind of disappointed. It doesn't have enough grip, so I decided to uh, stay with my play knobs on that set. What is neat about this set though is that if you get it with the swivel, you have this extra pivot point right here. Now, most knobs that have swivels in the handles, uh, this doesn't move right here, just the end does. 
And so when you're doing an orbital, you have to point your hands uh, at the center of the, towards the center of the orbital. Otherwise, you might get this bind that happens when the ring's trying to flip over the top here, and that throws your orbits off. Now with this, uh, you can have your hand pointing this way, and the swivel is going to be pointing towards the center of the orbital, which is nice if you're doing like behind the back stuff. Um, now as far as size goes, uh, it's about the same size as a um, palm grip. So anyways, that's about it on that. Let's go on to the next thing. So the next few I'm gonna go over are actually juggling club knobs. These are from Play, and they're the PX3. They're a thermoplastic rubber, and they've got a nice texture to them, a good grip. Uh, feels like they got a bit of squish to them as well. This one doesn't though. I don't know if this is just a different brand that I accidentally got or what, but this one's like rock hard and doesn't have any squish to it. So if anybody knows what style this is, do let me know. Um, now at 10 grams, they're pretty dang light. They're really good for, um, you know, if you want a light knob, but you don't want to go the 3D route. A lot of people are using them on their pod poi. Now, as far as size comparison, this is the uh, Palm Grip version 2. They're almost the same. This one's a little bit smaller, as you can see right there. And uh, yeah, comes in, I think, 14 different colors. And that's about all I can say on those. Next up is a club knob from Henry's. This is the standard. They make a round and a semi-round, or this might be actually called the classic. It's uh, some kind of material I can't quite put my finger on, uh, except right there. Uh, it's like a hard foam type feel to it. Um, it doesn't have any squish to it really at all, but it's super light. So if you like light, this is probably the lightest you can find out there. It's six grams. Um, I went to Chongo's workshop at Quasar Festival and he had these on his poi and I was talking shit about them and he was like, ah, now you can spend the rest of my class with my poi. So I spun them for quite a while and they did not grow on me at all. They were super slick, especially after using it for a while, it just wears any finish that it has on it when you get them new. And so they're not for me, but that guy can do pretty much anything with poi. So, um, if it works for him, it can definitely work for you. You will have to drill the uh, the hole out a little bit in the center there just to get a whatever size rope you want in it. And as far as the size comparison goes, this is the palm grip, the original one. So it's almost that same size. This is the PX3, which it's practically identical if it was inverted. And then this is the flip knob. So the next ones are from Mr. Babash. They are also a club knob. They are called the flips. They're a harder plastic. I don't know what these things are. The, they just don't feel like they're grippy at all. Definitely slick. Um, they're pretty light too. So a lot of people would probably like them for whatever reason, but not me. Um, they have a little plug in the bottom there. You're gonna have to drill out for whatever size rope that you decide to use. And as far as size comparison to a palm grip, that's the play knob there. So Ultra Knobs from ultrapoi.com, the original version, the pro version. I made a review on both of these. You can go check that out if you want to learn more information about the chips and things like that. I'm not going to go over that just because I know a lot of people will just spin these um, by themselves without the chips. And um, I, I'll, I'll make a whole video probably on LED knobs soon comparing them all. Now, the original and the, the new one are both a silicone rubber with hash marks um, on them that give them an extra nice tactile feel. These things are super grippy. I really like the way they feel. Um, the original had a flat top. The new one has a more domed top to it. Um, the biggest improvement besides the chip was the chip case. On the old ones, when you're doing tosses, and uh, a lot of times the chip would just fly out and I lost a few of them. Especially when you get dust inside here, it just uh, gets super loose. Um, so I stopped using these and then the Pro uh, knob came out and this is such a big improvement right here, which is the case, uh, it's a polycarbonate case that is uh, holding the chip inside there, but it also um, holds the rope. So you put a cap on the end of your rope and it sits inside there and then the rope holds that into place, which is super great. Now there's another option that some people are um, doing, which is if you go to Flow on Fire, I think they're still selling these. It's a kit that you can get that will um, be for whatever size Widmar knob you have. 
And so uh, it gives you a little spacer and some washers and then you can get the knob and everything. And the old ones will fit in there. Um, and they're a lot, lot tighter. As a matter of fact, they were kind of hard for me to get out. So I'm not even gonna put this one in, but um, I heard they don't eject anymore. So that is an option if you wanna go that route. Or you can go with this option. This is Ultrapoi teaming up with Justin Widmar to get their Ultra Knob Pro case and chip to fit inside of his 3D printed knobs. If you know his knobs, you know that they're super light. Um, they are the lightest ones on the market with a chip in it as far as I know. So uh, if you want light, that's the way to go. He makes a XL, a stubby, and a standard. I don't know at this moment if the standard comes uh, with the chip yet or not. Um, this is the stubby and this is the XL. As you can see, the only difference is the taper at the base. Uh, the stubby has a bit more taper, but it's the same height and width. To give you a comparison to the original stubby, it's obviously uh, a bit shorter. And that's because this has to be bigger for that chip. Now, since this is 3D printed material, it is pretty slick. I don't like the 3D printed uh, feel, so I'm gonna be putting like a silicone grip tape or tube over mine, and hopefully that'll give it some more grip to it. Uh, and as far as the light goes, super bright. That's because of the 3D printed material it really has really good light dispersing properties. So that's, uh, that's pretty awesome. That's the, XL or the uh, the pro version and this is the 3d printed so as you can see the difference in size is just a little bit but a whole hell of a lot of difference when it comes to weight and that is the play knob this is the palm grip so it's kind of right there in between and I guess uh, now we can go on to 3d printed knobs so these are the Justin Widmeyer knobs from PropBox Approved. These are a 3D printed knob, I think originally designed for juggling clubs, but they're probably the most popular poi uh, knob that's out there in the U.S. right now. A lot of people like how light they are. If you like light, these are definitely the way to go. If you like heavy, this is also the way to go. You can put a lot of washer weight back there. They come in three different sizes. This is a XL, this is the stubby, and then there's an in-between, which is like, uh, I think called the standard. I apologize, I didn't get that for this video. As far as uh, the rope size that you can put in there, you can definitely get a big rope in there, but I've seen a few of these printed with really small holes and some with a lot bigger holes. So wherever you order from, you might wanna ask if, if you're gonna go with something big like this. They come in a ton of different colors. If you go to uh, Flow on Fire, you'll see that they have a whole bunch of solid colors and a bunch of two-tone uh, knobs. If you go to uh, Flow Toys, there's ones that have like five or six different colors stacked up on it. I don't know if this is going to show up very well or not. Probably not, but um, especially on the clear knobs, but there is a Flow on Fire logo on there. If you want some knobs, you can get a, uh, some printed from Justin if you tell him what your, your logo is that you want on there. Um, he's a really nice guy and he can uh, do some custom projects from the sounds of it. Uh, as far as size comparison goes, there's the palm grip. Here is the Delphin knob, which if I can recall correctly, I think the, uh, standard, uh, Widmar looks like that shape wise, just a little bit bigger. And then the play knob. So I hope to do a full LED knob comparison video in the future. So I'm not going to go over a lot of the details on like the chip performance and things like that right now. I'm just going to show you what's out there in 3D. So this is the Flow Toys uh, capsule handle. And this has the crystal case with the PX3 knob on the back of it. Today I just saw that they have a 3D printed version of this. So the whole thing is 3D printed. Um, this is the neopoi.com isopoi handle. I'll have a whole review on this coming out soon. Uh, it's got a really interesting squishy bubble uh, feel to it, uh, which gives it a nice grip. The heads are the same way, which are awesome. They are super bright. Um, really like these things. This is the Ultra Knob with the uh, uh, Ultra Knob chip inside of the Widmar handle. This has the, uh, you know, the honeycomb versus this has kind of straight line printing so the light is dispersed in each one of these in a, in a different way these are awesome these are the magnetex from flow forge creations 
you can turn your poi into a meteor mid-flow. Um, I have a review video out on these and the heads. These use the original Ultra Knob chip. I don't know if he's putting the, the pros in these yet, but uh, yeah, these are these are super cool. So anyways, uh, that's pretty much it on the knob review. Um, if you have any knobs that I missed, please let me know. Let me know what you're using, what you like, what you don't. If you have any comments or questions, please leave it in the comment section below. If you have any products you want me to review of yours, just get in touch with me on that. And if you like the video, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks a lot for watching and have a good one.